Hey guys, Cool Blind Way back. I'm Rick. Eric. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. And we are here with Better Call Saul last time <laughs> on Bingo. We're playing Bingo? No. Bingo? That was before. Drug oh, shoes. <laughs> that was before as well, Aaron. Oh. Uh, no, uh, we <laughs> got Bingo. We played Bingo with Chuck in the uh, deposition. But we don't know exactly what Bingo means. What did they get? Something about the tape. Something about that tape. I don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. Door fixing. Door fixing. I still can't get over Jimmy being a lawyer. Neither can I. He's got his own shingle out and everything. I mean, a real responsible citizen. I mean, who would have thought? I don't know what's going on. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I, I, I hate that thing. I feel like I'm on a leash. Oh. Hold together, Chuck. I'm sorry. Yeah. And this is before no, he started I, I going out and trying to do it, push it more and more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. He's going to flip out, isn't he? I'm sure that. Uh, can, can, can you hold on a second? Let me just get a pen. Do you want me to rehearse the cello stuff? Oh my gosh. Rebecca. Yeah. What the hell? Say something. It is incredibly bad manners to answer a cell phone in your problem. It's very rude. Uh, I I'm sorry. It's getting late. Thank you for a lovely dinner, but I should be getting back to the hotel. Just give me a minute and we can... No, uh, um, I'll just get a cab. I don't want to put you out anymore. Please, let me... No, really. A cab is the easiest. You, you can't let her leave like this. Just tell her what's going on. No, no. She'll understand. Would you rather she think you're a raging prick than know the truth? No. Look, if you won't tell her, then I will. No, 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 you will not tell her. Hmm, Jimmy's such a good brother. <laughs> I need highly skilled, high-end, discreet, real pro. You gotta fit him in a tight space? I don't think so. I got just a guy then. <gasps> He's a big guy. Oh. He's a big guy. I see. You? I gotta do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing I cannot abide, it's a man who won't own up to his mistakes. <laughs> now, whatever mud Miguel is slinging is not gonna screw me out of the best, best. outside counsel I've ever had. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. Come on, guys. You testified you've known my client for some time. How long exactly? Nearly 10 years. How did you come to know him? His brother asked to hire him in the mailroom at our firm. He had a lot of get up and go. He was a hard worker. You had a nickname for him, didn't you? Charlie Hustle. Charlie Hustle? How'd you feel when you found out he'd become a lawyer? Surprised. He put himself through law school and taken the bar exam without telling any of the partners. Did you consider taking him on as an associate? We did. Briefly. Sounds like you didn't hire him. Why not? With that kind of grit? The partners decided it would be best to avoid the appearance of nepotism. Your firm is Hamlin, Hamlin, and McGill, right? Who's the other Hamlin? My father. <laughs> My father. Did Jimmy know his brother was the one that prevented you from hiring him? No, he did not. Eventually, he was hired by the firm of Davis and Maine. I'd be happy to say more about that, if you'd like. No, okay. thank you. <laughs> Could you speak to the terms of Charles's leave of absence? You know I can't. It was an FMLA leave. Anything more is confidential. But you can confirm it was due to mental illness, Objection. correct? Objection. Charles McGill's mental health isn't at issue. 
This is not a competency hearing, Ms. Wexner. Mr. Hamlet is not a psychiatric professional. Do you have any questions that would be more germane to his experience? No. What are you still doing? Can you post it? Flight? He's flying him in? I love my brother. But Ted Kaczynski's brother loved him too. Holy and shit! He to hell. That's sanctimonious. <laughs> I love my brother. He's a good person. He has good in him. Your phone, sir? I left it in the car. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Did he really? I don't think he did. Yo, he's so skinny! He is much skinnier. He is much skinnier. <gasps> what did he just do? Did I don't he know. did he put his Jimmy cell phone in the pocket or something? <laughs> yeah. Had to have been. Aw, uh, good for him. That <laughs> actor. Yeah. Like and we're here, he's not fat yet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where else this phone would be. And why you need heal? And nothing for the truth. I do. And at the time, would you say that you were in possession of your faculties? All due respect, but you do sound somewhat unhinged on the recording. Yes, I understand that. But what you heard was theater, a performance, play acting. I exaggerated the symptoms of my disease to extract the truth. Mr. McGill, I have only one more question for you. Do you hate your brother? Here's the practice Absolutely statement. Absolutely not. I love my brother. That's the one thing he had to practice. There's nothing malicious in Jimmy. And the way my brother treats the law, it breaks my heart. That's why I did what I did. Not to hurt him, but to protect something that I hold sacred. Thank you, Mr. McGill. I'm glad he left out Ted Kaczynski. Right? Yeah, that would have been... They bring in Rebecca? Rebecca. Is that why we had the the flight thingy? That's why the flight. Okay. Mm hmm. Did Jimmy subpoena you? You're not on the witness list. You don't have to testify. No, 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 no. I'm not here for that. Well, what then? Chuck, I wish you told me. I I can't believe what you've been going through. He sent me pictures of the house. Chuck, my God. Oh, is that what you wanted the pictures for? That's what they got the pictures Why for. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to upset you. To worry you unnecessarily. Yes, I'm sure. I feel like his cross is going to be really important. And what, what is Jimmy building towards? I want you to yeah. see what's what. Something to do with the phone. There's a phone that's missing from Jimmy. Rebecca's here. Huel did something. Mm -hmm. You know, she's going to hate you when this is over. Yep. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> What's he planning? I don't know. I better find out this episode. I know. I don't want it to end. <laughs> I want to see the whole hearing and then finish this. Every surface covered in tinfoil. Nothing crazy about that, huh? As I've said, I was playing up my condition. Usually, it's a perfectly normal house. You think your house is normal? Can I call your attention to Exhibit 9? It's exposed wires. There's a camp stove. There's a lantern on top of newspapers. You call this normal? Objection. You can't introduce the TEG as evidence. Besides which, the panel has already ruled that Mr. McGill's mental health is not at issue. No, the state bar opened the door to this on direct when the witness talked about his supposed play acting. Allowing me to follow up on cross is only reasonable. Yeah, they said that we would get the same. Not a mental disability. You take off the top, it comes down to this. I lied to my brother to make him feel better. Which of us you believe depends on how we all understand the mind of Charles McGill. We did promise the defense some leeway. Yep. <laughs> you did. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. But watch yourself. He knows I still have a, a lot of feeling for my ex-wife. He's hoping this will break me down. Split me apart at the seams like a murderer confessing on an episode of Perry Mason. Well, I'm 
sorry to disappoint you, Jamie. You mentioned it's painful. It is. There's a tightness in my chest, difficulty breathing, and pain. Burning pain. The pain spreads everywhere. It sounds horrible. Does it hurt right now? There's always <laughs> some discomfort, yes. So if I had a small battery safe from a watch or something, and I got it close to you, close to your skin, you'd know. I would feel it, yes. Can you feel more current coming from any particular direction right now? Jimmy, do you have something in your pocket? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. My cell phone. May I? Just as I thought. There's no battery in here. You removed the battery. <laughs> God, Jimmy. <laughs> Don't you know by Jimmy. now this is real? I feel this. It's a physical response to stimuli. It's not a quirk. Could you reach into your breast pocket and tell me what's there? <laughs> what now? <laughs> oh, God! Oh, hey, wait, wait. you noticed what it. That was. Please. Did you recognize that man in back? His name is Huel Babino. He's on our witness list. You bumped into him in the stairway. He'll testify he planted this fully charged battery on you over an hour and a half ago. Hour and 43 minutes. An hour and 43 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Babino. And you felt nothing. If he were schizophrenic, Schiz it wouldn't take away from the fact that the I defendant... am not crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, when you know there's electricity, but when I'm you not crazy, <coughs> that's billboard. Are you telling me that a man just happens to fall like that? No, he orchestrated. <laughs> he sounds crazy. <laughs> he's so he crazy. Through a sunroof. He'll never change. He'll never change. He'll never change. Ever since he was nine, always the same. Hated him. Couldn't keep his hands life. out of the camera shot. Door. But not our Jimmy. Couldn't be precious Jimmy. Oh. Oh, right. I'm on the stand, under oath. Uh, oh. Powers like PR. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That neon sign sound. The sound effect. His mouth is just like. <laughs> what a great last shot. <laughs> Exit episode. <laughs> well, we got to see a lot of the hearing. Yep. Maybe not everything, but. A good bit. Didn't see the resolution of it. Sure. I mean, they said about Huel being a witness and stuff, so yeah. I don't know if we're going to be seeing that still, too. But I like, like, we didn't have Mike at all on this one. No. But we got to see, like, so much of the hearing. Mm -hmm. I love Chuck's, like, outburst, just his, like, monologue. It's and it's just, it's just right here, and it kind of zooms so in close. just a little bit. It was uh, really good. I bet I can guess the outcome. I think I can as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we didn't see the resolution of the case, but we saw the end of it right here. They uh, they don't disbar Jimmy, and they schedule a hearing for the disbarment of Chuck. I bet <laughs> so. I mean, Howard's PR thing that he was talking about, like that, all this whole <laughs> thing right Howard. here. Well, yeah. How, ironically, from where I was in the beginning of the show, Howard's the most innocent person. I know. For maybe a little nepotism. I know. The, the yeah, but he yeah. wanted to hire Jimmy, you know? Yeah. He did. He did. <laughs> the good news for Howard is... It seemed like Chuck hadn't really handled any case <coughs> until the Mesa Verde. Yeah. yeah. So, like, there's no other cases that should be thrown into question. Um, yeah. Sand Hill he worked on for a bit, but then they passed it off. And then yeah. he, when it went to Hamlin and Hamlin and Miguel, he didn't do that much with it. Sure. But, yeah. I, I don't yeah, know. I guess that's the only other one. At least that we saw. Sand Piper. I, mean, I hope. Sand Piper, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, I. Chuck's a dick, but I hope that maybe this is a step to healing for him. Maybe. Like, if he can realize, maybe this is just all in my head. Like sure. Maybe he'll get the help he needs. Like, the way he describes it as being a physical condition, that his mental health is fine. Yeah, that's how But he... then it's like, well, so you just sense, because you have this allergy. But then as soon as yeah, he sees the battery... Yeah, your body without your knowledge. As soon as he yeah. sees the battery, he knows it's there, he freaks out. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, well, then why weren't you freaking out or feeling it it's before? It's the last hour and 43 minutes. Yeah, you've been on stand feeling this, and it's been in your pocket right here next to your heart, yeah. and you haven't cared once, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's mental. And getting him to describe the pain and how it works and all that stuff. And it's just such a ironic thing, I guess, that, like, this guy that, who you know, he holds the law as sacred and evidence and 
and all of those things, he can't be convinced that he's crazy. You yeah. Know, until I mean, that's how beliefs change, that you're convinced of them, you know? Sure. Not that he's crazy. Well, I'm not even crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's crazy is a loaded term, right? Sure. I mean, he's mentally ill. Like, there's, you know, he has a condition that's in his brain, not a physical thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Sure. Like, crazy is just the word people use when there's yeah. something that's just... when they don't understand what what's wrong. Typically. Sure, right? Yeah. Or... They or acting it irrational, a terrible insult. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on what the, you use, I use crazy the, bitch. I use like, the term with no judgment to him, but I can see why people would think that if I use the wrong term. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's 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 sad because everything he's saying in his outbursts, like he's, I can see why he thinks those things. I mean, sure. he's right in a lot of those things. Yeah, but you know? it, it pushes the fact of like there is a brotherly feud. And Chuck hates his brother yeah. and doesn't want him to be a lawyer. And I like how Jimmy talks about, like, you know, who's lying? Yeah. Did I lie to help my brother? Or was he lying and play acting yeah. To, yeah. to catch me? You know? Yeah. And it's like, if he wasn't play acting and I was actually concerned, this is why I said these things, was mm-hmm. to help my brother who has an illness. An and illness, Rebecca you know? is a distraction for what's actually happening. He thinks, oh, okay, I see. Because he always sees through Jimmy's stuff, sure. right? Yeah. He sees, I see what you're doing here. You spent all of this effort to get her here, and he did. But she even said it. I'm a distraction to you. <laughs> and Jimmy was telling the truth on that tape. He really did change those numbers. But mm-hmm. it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yep. That's just got to eat Chuck away. Oh, that's that's gonna kill him. Like the law failed him. Sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy beat the law. Jimmy was better. Dude, it's, it's funny that like the number of things being changed and stuff. That's like base, it's like the same thing that he lied saying the power company did was reversing the numbers around. It's the same thing that they had mm-hmm. there. He said like, oh yeah, you know, I'm 215, got 512 yeah. didn't pay. And I was like, that's the exact same thing right there. It's crazy. Transposed two yeah. numbers. Yeah. It's just funny. It, that it came down to like, you know, that love my brother, hate my brother thing. You know, mm-hmm. like at the end, he sounds like he hates him. And he, that's the only thing he had to, we, at least we saw him having to practice is like I love my brother, but I, he had to go sure. through a couple different versions of that, one including the Unabomber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, Hitler loved his dogs. <laughs> you know, like there's. <sighs> yeah, it's crazy to have to have that. As like, I had to practice saying I love my brother. I was. But he didn't have to practice the rest of them. Yeah. You know? Nope. He didn't have to practice reciting the facts accurately or anything like that. He had to practice saying, I love you, brother. Which is also, in theory, not what you're supposed to do for law. They do it so that the witnesses have the right thing and they say what they want so they can get the outcome they want. But sure. Sure. it should just be like, all right, tell us the truth. Not, what did you practice at home? You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a certain way that you say things that doesn't bring up more questions. Sure, or, exactly. There's, you know. there's making sure you say exactly what you need to say without leaving cross-examination things open, yeah. which is what they caught them with of, Hey, you know, what are we doing with this? It's like, oh, we'll play acting. To the, we'll give you leeway later, too. And they gave him leeway because they had yep. to because of what they did with the initial examination. They opened it up. So, what is a Xerox? A Xerox. A copy machine. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> uh, man, I Huel was probably one of my top people from Breaking Bad to see again. And I, I love seeing him. And I'm happy for that dude. He looks healthy. And I love that... When we think of him in terms of the show, like, yes, this was filmed way later, so he got healthier. But yeah. this Yule, we know that he'll get unhealthier. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a really interesting way of thinking about this guy coming in, you know? I hope we get Bill Burr. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely. Probably I feel will. like we will. I think that'd be fun. By the end of this show. It's like, what, eight seasons? They're short, I, relatively, I, but yeah. Sure, but I, I feel like we're going to get Hour four, like, three. you know, Walt didn't, <laughs> have, I love how he was like, Walt didn't have to deal with him until later in the yeah. season, but like... Met him through Saul makes sense. So like we get him here Hill would be, will be the make, security guard. Yeah, and, uh, uh, that thing. Yeah, which it was mm-hmm. interesting too. Of like talking about the lie that he wouldn't tell Rebecca about his illness and stuff too. But Walt did the same thing and he didn't tell uh, Skyler about yeah. his yeah. illness, mm-hmm. which was cancer. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So it's just it's funny that they like they both these shows mirror each other so well with yeah. like a lot of they aspects do. and themes and stuff too yeah you know? he even said if you had say lung cancer was it lung him? cancer that he had he said lung cancer yeah oh, but, yeah, but walt had lung i knew he had cancer i couldn't remember what cancer yeah, yeah he was like, i don't even i don't even smoke 
is what yeah. he said. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He did say that, didn't he? Yeah, so man, they yeah they just pulled bas- basically breaking B- Bad's whole yeah. whole premise. Premise. <laughs> this guy gets lung cancer, one. starts making drugs. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> doesn't tell his wife. Hugh's on the witness list. They said so. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what for. Um, as a, probably so that he could be brought onto stand. Oh no! If the the battery were brought into question, yeah. it's like what, that, who the fuck is this guy? But what did the prosecutor think? That yeah, the prosecutor sure would have had to go now. Let's be like, well, what's this about? We don't know who this is. Why is this relevant? I mean. Chuck might have just could have been a said, character witness. Like, uh, I don't know who that name is. Like, that's nothing. Hmm. You know, I mean, we don't have to worry about that. I would say most likely you have Huel, and it's more of a character witness thing, maybe. And then it's written okay. off. It's like, ah, it must be someone that Jimmy knows. They're going to try to push his character, but I and don't know. It's, it's not an actual trial, so the whole kind of underhand. <clears throat> it's very underhanded, but like I snuck this on to prove a point. You know, yeah, it plays. Like I don't well, know I mean, how well that will go over in an actual court. How do you wow. prove? <laughs> what, how do you prove inside someone's mind without a doctor? Yeah. And he refuses. And he's like, you know, doctors. Doctors don't understand. Doctors don't understand what yeah. this is. They you know, even diabetes. though the doctor's like, he's crazy, and you should have him institutionalized, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like she was like, you need to put him into somewhere. Yeah. You know, and be his guardian. Like that. That's what the doctor said, like yeah. twice, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like she was like, there's a mental illness. He put himself in a catatonic mm-hmm. state. He's doing this to himself. Yeah. And he needs help. But he's like, no, I'm fine. Electricity is the problem. Like, <laughs> you know, it's it, like, it, it shows that, yes, I mean, this isn't a physical thing, but it also, like, character-wise, it shows that he really... Do we want to have this person as a civil servant, as a lawyer? Look what at the lengths he went through for his brother, because he knows this isn't real. And he's the one, as we just had Howard State, that has cared for him, brought the stuff for him every single day. Yeah. You know? I wonder what Howard thinks. Like, does Howard believe like what does he believe about Jimmy and that tape now yeah. when I think Howard knows Jimmy did this like I think all that stuff is like Jimmy did do this and I think he would believe that but I think still Chuck is out to get him and I think he would believe that he doesn't want Jimmy to be this and he sees the feud of all that like I get you. Howard like, did not agree with Chuck like blocking him from from yeah. becoming partner yeah. But he sided with him anyway to keep like, Chuck happy. If Jimmy he is asset. here and it comes to the sacred, how, how sacred the law is, and then Chuck is here, where is Howard? Because you there's know? no. I'm not saying that he's closer here, but he, I don't think he's quite there. You yeah. know? Yeah, I don't so think you're he's thinking quite like to Chuck. Would Howard think that, oh, Jimmy did do this to help Chuck? He, sounds, he never did this, and Chuck just messed up the yeah, whole thing. The, the only thing that convinced him was the tape. And, like, if Jimmy is lying on the tape to make his brother feel better. Mm-hmm. Sure. And he would would he break in because of the tape being like you did this to try to catch me for this and that when I just cared about you you know yeah. like was there more stuff being said that's like you know this is why I broke in because like he's, he's trying to get me for something I, I didn't do and I did it because I cared about him because that'll be the thing I think if if no one believes Chuck I think that'll just destroy him yeah sure. yeah I get you and yeah I don't know what Rebecca will think like Jimmy saying she's about gonna, like Rebecca is gonna hate, gonna hate him. But I wonder will she what that means. think about like you know you pushed him this far? Will she proven... recognize that she was only asked to come here as a distraction? Like or, I mean that's what Chuck will say. Is it that Jimmy's pushing and pro- like proving is a hard word to say, but like for lack of another word, like proving this is a mental thing and not a physical thing? Or Jimmy never told her maybe? Sure, that's the thing too. Is like you brought me here, <laughs> like just because distracting, so you can do your thing here. Like, you used me. And he never told her about Chuck's real illness, either. Maybe she'd resent him for that, too. I mean, Chuck also swore him to secrecy. So I, I don't know how yeah. she could get mad at him for that. I was very confused what was happening in the beginning, but they were together. They separated. He says uh, that it was mutual. Yeah. And then that's when he started having the symptoms. Yeah. And then they would have had that dinner after she had left started going on tour and stuff and he's like do I keep this on or not yeah it's the do idea I, of like do I think of you or do I not think of you all the time yeah thus do I keep this yeah. on you know and then that's why like for a while I was a little confused on exactly what was going on yeah. and then I'm like oh I see yeah so Jimmy helped him and it's okay to do lies and shenanigans when it's helping Chuck mm-hmm. you know like yeah. Chuck was yeah. working with that yeah. he's the one who told the lie mm-hmm. that's not Jimmy, the lie Jimmy even said are you sure because you know the bigger the lie the harder it is to get to dig out and all that stuff and Chuck's like yeah we're gonna do this the digger you deep or yeah, yeah the, the deeper digger, you dig the digger you beep yeah yeah the thing that threw no me was he still had the wedding I like that, that which I don't picture after a divorce you know mm-hmm. but I've never been divorced so 
You don't picture what? The thing that threw me in that scene was the fact that he still had the wedding ring on. Oh. If he got divorced, I was like, well, why does he still have the ring on? Lots so, of people do that because he's still yeah. loved her. I mean, it's, it, it depends on, like, sometimes the divorces and how they go through, death of a of a spouse, like, all those kind of things. Well, lots the death times, I definitely get. A lot of times people just keep them on. Yeah. yeah. Divorce-wise, um, though, like, if, you know, obviously it wasn't just, oh, yeah, we both decided this. I mean, he said, like, I still have feelings for her or whatever, so... It and probably, she must for him. Yeah. Like, she flew 4,000 yeah. miles to come here for a hearing when she exactly. found out that he was also sick or something. So, like, she cares, too. There's something else of why they split. And it wasn't mm-hmm. like they hated each other necessarily, but something wasn't working out. Yeah. So, it just depends. Like, if, I mean, there's definitely situations where they just throw the ring at the person and leave and never see him again. <laughs> you know? Like, you have all, all the in-betweens. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, I was wondering who the flight was for. I thought it was, like, is it Huel we're flying in? Yeah, yeah What are we doing? Sure. It was and weird. Then when, then when Huel showed up and stuff, and I was like, well, what do you plan on him? He said about his phone. Where's his phone? He put his phone there. Wouldn't you feel the phone? I don't know. I love how the vet's like, he doesn't be in a tight space, does he? More like, Huel! <laughs> Huel! <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> it's like, there's no other person that could be. <laughs> yeah. 11.40, or what do you say? An hour and 45 minutes. Hour 43. He's like, he's been there for an, an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> hour and 43. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I hope we see him more. Yeah. Oh, I hope man. so. And then the pictures, I guess, were also sent to Rebecca, but then also submitted as evidence mm-hmm. of the house to kind of help explain. Because yeah, the picture I mean, took. Yeah. If, if it's a thing where it's like, well, Chuck says this isn't mental and it's a physical thing, but he's like, look at his house. Yeah. You know, I've been worried about him for this. Like... I've, I've gone through the doctors have said yep. that it's a mental thing but he won't listen to it but he says the doctors can't diagnose it because no one knows about this like there's so many things where it's like I've been trying to take care of him and trying to help him I'll do anything for him you know I'll bring him food at the risk of my own law firm yeah. I'll tell him a lie and say it was me so that he doesn't think he's crazy you know I'm curious like that's, that's kind of the idea I think that he's pushing yeah I'm curious I guess he just wouldn't have any doubt of why Jimmy would have those pictures Jimmy didn't have them and needed needed them for this, but I mean he could he have just think that Jimmy took them at one point, yeah, bringing in sure. a thing with a battery against his wishes, or because that's the thing, right? Well, well the, the disposable cameras just have a capacitor. The photos were already in evidence, so he knew about them before he hit the stand. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying be... that he should have been surprised at them. I just was curious if they, he would have anything. Curious like, about the conversation when he found out the pictures it, were taken. At the very least with Rebecca, we know that he wants to control who knows about this and who doesn't. Sure. So I would just, I would imagine that like, when you take these pictures or something like that might could have been a thing, but it's not like an absence that it was. Sure. I, was just I mean, because he helped him for years. Yeah. Like, those could have been pictures. Those wires sure. were like that for how long, yeah. you know? Sure. And the only I'm thing sure would be more, like the newspaper. If yeah. If it but, showed a date. If it showed a date, yeah. But I'm sure there's more than one time when like that was sitting on top of newspapers, you yeah. know? So yeah. it just depends how much information you can gather from them. Mm-hmm. If it's from yesterday, that's yesterday's paper. Yeah, I was just curious. But other than that. But, I don't know. And you can just I need pictures of his house. I'm going to go and get pictures. But he didn't do that. <laughs> I can't... I, I'm worried that this is going to hurt Kim somehow, but I can't see how it would. I love sure. that the uh, the bank guy is like, I can't not believe gonna... he'd do that. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I can't abide is a man who can't admit his <laughs> fault. his own mistake. Now, most importantly, <laughs> dinner. Dinner. <laughs> like, yeah. I love that guy. He's great. Uh Hopefully it doesn't come back to Mesa Verde at all and cause problems. Like yeah. Kim said, she didn't think it would. I don't think. I don't but think it should. They specifically said like this is not about like you know nothing reflects on you at all. Like yeah. even in the court. So like if Jimmy and Chuck take themselves down, it's their own damn fault. Yeah. yeah. I just don't want anyone else to get pulled in. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Especially if they prove that Jimmy just said that he did those things to make Chuck feel better. Then it just completely dismisses the fact that anything with Mesa Verde ever happened. Mm-hmm. Sure. It's like, look, he messed it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's he why did we mess switched it up. And that's why he was um, so focused on me. You end up getting an idea of, like, look who they have as their main partner here. And is he of sound mind? You know, does he have a mental problem? And mm-hmm. if so, is HHM, how much of a PR hit are they going to take because of what just happened that Howard was trying to avoid? Yeah. Which probably would have been the safest bet. It's like, hey, don't take the stand. We've got this, yeah. we've got me, we've got the P.I., we've they got wouldn't. enough stuff to get Jimmy. What they needed was Chuck, and that's exactly what Jimmy they, was relying they on. They had him dead to rights, but if, if Chuck had not taken the stand, Chuck would have so gone down the way he wanted it to. Gun, but he wanted he to so be gun the one. Ho that yep. Jimmy has to be disbarred 
and my testimony will be what's important. They have to replace Jimmy. It's going to be a mistake if they don't hire another H. Triple H. What? Yeah. H H H. <laughs> Triple H. I saw a video the day of Triple H coming in, but he's like dressed like as like a like a skeleton, gold skeleton king mm -hmm. or something, and he has like chicks on him and a cape. Was he riding a motorcycle? No, he was okay. like on a throne. Sure. I was. I was what confused. do you mean, sure? <laughs> well, yeah, no, I. <laughs> I know which WrestleMania he's talking about. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Better Call Saul. There's more right now at patreon.com slash blindwave where you can watch the reactions. You can also watch along with us full length. Make sure that you're subscribing to help us get to that million subscriber count. You can be a part of it. We'll see you next time.